Maxwell Chikumbuzo of Zimbabwe has once again shaken the world with a bold step that feels less like a promo and more like a revolution. What he has unveiled is not just a product announcement, it is a declaration of freedom from the global chains of energy dependence. His inventions have long rattled the foundations of powerful industries, and this time, he's pushing even harder. The global elite are scrambling to suppress his work, but his message is clear. Africa will not remain on the sidelines of innovation. In the heart of Harare, Maxwell has presented to the public a series of devices that defy the rules written by those who profit from fuel and electricity. Among them is a self-powered television, the first of its kind. Imagine watching your favorite programs on a TV that requires no electricity, no batteries, no cords running to a wall socket. Instead, it draws its energy from radio frequencies floating invisibly in the air around us. Behind the television rests a small device called the Microsonic Energy Device, or MSED. This box converts radio frequencies into usable, clean energy. Where you would normally expect a power cord, there is nothing but empty space. Yet the television works, bright and alive. The television is just the beginning. Maxwell's mind has also produced motorcycles that move without fuel and an extraordinary electric vehicle known as the Scythe EV. Unlike traditional electric cars that rely on charging stations and lithium batteries, his design operates without plugging into anything. It powers itself, and at the same time, it can function as a generator capable of running household appliances. He has demonstrated how his car can power a refrigerator, proving that one purchase could replace both your car and your generator at home. This kind of breakthrough changes everything we thought we knew about mobility and energy. His vision doesn't stop at cars and televisions. Drones, bikes, and even helicopters can run on the same principle, pulling pure energy from the surrounding airwaves. This is not science fiction, but tangible reality. And now, through his promo campaign, Maxwell is inviting people to join this movement. The devices are available at discounted prices, but more importantly, the campaign is designed to raise the resources needed to build a full-scale factory in Zimbabwe. His dream is to mass-produce these machines so that every household, school, hospital, and business can access this life-changing technology. Maxwell's story makes this even more powerful. He is not a graduate of elite universities, nor did he rise through well-funded laboratories. He grew up in Harare's Kuwadzana township, driven by raw genius and relentless faith. From humble beginnings, he built machines that challenged trillion-dollar industries. For years, powerful interests have tried to silence him. Patent offices rejected his applications, claiming his designs defied the known laws of physics. Mainstream headlines ignored him. Critics called him a fraud. But why? Because his inventions threaten empires built on oil, gas, and electricity monopolies. Despite all this opposition, Maxwell refuses to back down. His MSED technology pulls energy from the ambient radio waves that surround us all the time. That same energy, wasted and unnoticed, can be transformed into clean power for homes, vehicles, and industries. His machines have already been tested by engineers. In 2018, international energy experts like Foster Gamble, creator of the Thrive documentary, visited Zimbabwe with engineers to test his 500-kilowatt green power machine. Their results confirmed that the device generated electricity with no external input, no smoke, no fuel, no batteries, just pure, clean energy. Even the Harare Institute of Technology confirmed the results during their independent tests. And yet, Skepticism remains. Posts endorsing Maxwell's work from President Emerson Manangagwa's office, his spokesperson, and the Ministry of Information were suddenly deleted after going public. Why would endorsements from such high levels vanish overnight? Was it a coincidence, or is there a deliberate effort to keep his work out of the spotlight? For many, it's proof that powerful global players are leaning on Zimbabwe's leadership to keep this technology suppressed. After all, if Maxwell's machines go mainstream, oil companies, 
auto manufacturers, and even electric grid providers could lose their dominance. The resistance he has faced has often been dangerous. Maxwell himself has claimed that during one of his ventures in Silicon Valley, he and his partner were poisoned. His partner did not survive. Maxwell returned home to Zimbabwe with that trauma, but also with renewed determination to fight for his inventions. He is well aware that enemies of progress will go to any length to protect their empires, but he continues undeterred, grounded in his faith and his conviction that Africa deserves to lead the future of innovation. Future. The machines he builds are not mere prototypes for show. His Scythe EV can run indefinitely without stopping to charge, and at the same time, power a household with 15 kilowatts of electricity. His green power off-grid machine delivers half a megawatt of energy by converting radio frequencies. His drones can be powered without fuel. His helicopters are in development. If these inventions scale, they will disrupt not only Africa's energy sector, but the entire world's. Of course, questions remain. If this technology is so revolutionary, why isn't it already everywhere? Maxwell has explained that since patent offices rejected his filings, he has had to keep trade secrets locked away to prevent theft. Without patents, publishing blueprints would only invite corporations to steal and bury the technology. Instead, he focuses on demonstrations, independent tests, and direct engagement with supporters. He has also refused lucrative offers from foreign investors who want to buy his technology outright and move it out of Africa. His choice has been to keep it African, even if it means growing slowly and facing more challenges. Critics still whisper, scam. But Maxwell continues to prove them wrong. Every successful demonstration pushes back the doubts. Every independent test adds credibility. And every time global institutions try to silence him, more Africans rally to his cause, seeing in him a reflection of their own struggle for freedom and dignity. The importance of his promo campaign cannot be overstated. With it, Maxwell hopes to raise funds to establish a large-scale production plant in Harare. This factory would employ Zimbabweans, create opportunities, and put Africa at the center of a technological revolution. Already, Chinese companies are in discussions to partner with him to build the plant. For Africa, this is not just about new devices. It is about pride, self-reliance, and economic transformation. Think about the possibilities. Schools in rural villages with lights powered by cars that recharge themselves. Hospitals operating without power cuts. Families freed from the burden of fuel bills and blackouts. A future where Africa does not import solutions, but exports world-changing technology. That is the world Maxwell envisions, and that is the world he is fighting to create. His promo is not just a sale. It is a rallying cry. Cars are being offered from as low as $6,000, drones from $800, and custom models reaching millions. Helicopters and other prototypes are also on the way. But the bigger goal is the factory, the mass production, the scaling up of this miracle technology. By supporting now, people are not just buying devices. They are investing in the future of Africa and the freedom of humanity from oppressive energy monopolies. Maxwell Chikumbuzo stands as proof that African talent can change the world. He has endured ridicule, sabotage, and threats, yet he still rises, unshaken. His inventions could collapse the trillion-dollar electric vehicle industry, rewrite the rules of energy, and give power, literally and figuratively, back to the people. This is why his work matters, and why the enemies of progress are so desperate to suppress it. As the promo unfolds, one thing is clear. This is Africa's moment. From the dusty streets of Harare's townships to the bright lights of global tech arenas, Maxwell is proving that brilliance knows no borders, no degrees, no limits. His journey is a reminder that Africa is not behind, it is ahead, shaping the future for all humanity. Humanity.